Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at making nettle chips in the dehydrator. I've made kale chips before, but I haven't used nettle yet. And they're a little more tender than the kale, but I'm guessing they're going to come out somewhat similar. So we'll have to wait and find out. Now when you're harvesting the nettle leaves, it's very easy. You just have to grab the leaf and a pair of scissors and stay away from the stems because the leaves won't bother you. It's the thorns on the stems that sting you. So. I'm going to continue harvesting the leaves and I will see you inside in a few minutes. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. The nettle leaves were simply washed and allowed to air dry for about an hour. The dehydrator is an Excalibur model. It's a few years old, but it still works pretty good. It's got five trays. I'm only going to be using three. These two top ones have just plain nettle leaves in them and this one I put some olive oil and sea salt together and I'm just going to see which one comes out better. The temps are 70 degrees and 50% humidity which should work fine and you don't really have to have a dehydrator to do this you could do this in your oven but once it starts getting warm I try not to turn the oven on if I don't have to. So I'm going to turn the temps up to about 125 and I'll check the chips after two hours or so. So I'll see you then. Okay, it's been less than an hour and I just went to turn the trays 180 degrees and the nettle chips are pretty much done. So if you're making them at home, either in the oven or in the dehydrator, you got to keep an eye on them because they dry out very quickly. Now these two trays were the ones that were just plain and uh, this tray had the ones with the olive oil and salt mixed in. And these came out much better, much tastier, uh, more likely than not from the salt, not the olive oil, because salt tends to bring out the flavor in any food, and the nettle chips were no exception. Now I went with 125 degrees because the booklet that came with the dehydrator had, uh, they didn't have nettle listed of course, but they had other greens like lettuce, kale, chard, spinach, etc. And they all went at 125 degrees. But when I do it, the next time I'm going to lower it to 110 or maybe 115. So if you're growing some uh, nettle plants and you're wondering what to do with some of the extra leaves, consider making uh, nettle chips. I mean, they're a very healthy snack. They're full of vitamins, minerals, um, iron, I think even a certain amount of protein. So uh, just give it a shot. And I hope this video helped. And thanks for watching.